violate workers' rights. Companies that only want to profit before they take responsibility for the financial burden of workers' compensation, social security, Medicare taxes, unemployment compensation, and other taxes onto the workers. The fact being the company's responsibility. What is it about IUPAT that protects workers as opposed to a non-union shop? Uh, and, uh, you know, why are we here today? So, uh, the, the easiest answer to give is uh, IUPAT and their union workers are protected by what we call a collective bargaining agreement, which essentially is a contract between the uh, employer and the employee. Mm -hmm. It has protections for the worker to make sure that they're getting paid correct wages, their raises, uh, and they also have representation from the union. Uh, the reason why it's so important is Georgia is a right to work state. It sounds great. It means you have the right to go to work. Mm -mm. It really means they have the right to fire you at any cost. It's an at will state, right? At will <laughs> law. They don't have to give you a reason to fire you, but when you're represented by a union, they have to give you a legitimate reason, and then they have to go to your representation to give them that reason before they let you go. And what is it about specialty that's uh, so egregious in this case, and what have they uh, done to their workers? Um, for the most part, what's really egregious is the fact that you have a bunch of painters time in and time out, you know, it's putting themselves in dangerous conditions, having to get on boom lifts, you know, having to expose themselves to toxic paint and chemicals, and you know, on top of that, a lot of them are being misclassified as independent contractors and they're failing to recognize these employees as who they are and what they are, which is workers and not independent contractors. The rabbi just mentioned not too long ago that, you know, if we're independent contractors, hell, David and I could walk on this thing right now and paint it if we wanted totally. to. But, um, you know, what's egregious is, just to go back, piggyback on that, you know, it's the fact that you have workers coming in day in and day out and they're not being classified as workers as they should and there's, a lot of intimidation and abuse that comes with it. Saying that these workers are private contractors are not right, it's illegal. These it's workers cannot minute. make their own hours. They can't take vacations when they want to. They don't provide their own materials. They take orders from, especially finished informant. This makes them, by classification, not by my classification, not by the unions, not by yeah. the community, but by the IRS, as these are employees. And what happens is, these companies think they can get away with it because workers are undocumented. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, is, all workers have rights. No matter where you're from, what language you speak, whether you're a citizen or not, you have rights. Totally. And that's the most important message, is that all workers have rights. Honor the status of these people. Honor, honor the status of workers. Ensure their wages, their safety, and their dignity because their lives depend on it, but our souls depend on it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, IUPAT that makes actions like these possible as opposed to a non-union shop? I mean, the union is workers coming together. That's all a union is, right? So, I mean, if a workers came together at a non-union shop, that would be a union too. But, you know, we're an existing union. We've been fighting for painters, glazers, drywall finishers for, I think, over a hundred years. And so we have our workers' backs, and that's why we come out and support even these non-union workers, but they have come forward and they've spoken to us about what's happening on these jobs. Um, many of them are uh, undocumented immigrants, um, and so the companies take advantage of that fact, and they, you know, use that to misclassify them as independent contractors, and then they don't get paid overtime, they don't get benefits, um, so the ones that do come forward, you know, we, we are showing our support by getting out here and, and showing them that, you know, we're a union, we, we support the workers. Totally. And what is it about uh, specialty finishes that's particularly egregious in this case? Yeah, so, I mean, lots of companies are doing the exact same thing, right? So they uh, hire majority Latino immigrants, many of whom are undocumented. Um, they basically force them to classify themselves as independent contractors, which means that they are not technically employees of the company. And so what that means is they're not getting the overtime, they're not getting the benefits, uh, they're not getting that job security that actual employees of the company do have. Um, so it's, but the bulk of the work is being done by these workers. Um, so that's, you know, that's who's building these buildings. We have them to thank for these new buildings, but they're not getting paid enough. They're not getting the benefits they need to support their families. Got it. Thanks so much. We'll be back. We'll be back.